And welcome back to Talking Scrap Hours. We're your hosts, TJ Bay, Tyler Byron, and Ellen Poe. Back once again with the latest and greatest. Fellas, we started talking about free agency of the NFL and some major moves have been made. So how are you guys feeling about the moves you guys made thus far? Go ahead, Tyler. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Get it off. Um, I'm, 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 really, I'm really satisfied with the moves that we made so far. Uh, I like my, I like the little uh, young safety that we picked up, Evans from the Eagles. I like him. He's, I, I like this tape. He, he's ferocious. He likes to hit. That's the mentality. I like, had the Raiders. I like the, the like Robert Spillane. You know, everybody wants these big name linebackers, but linebackers are, are the most meaningless position in, in the field. <laughs> I ain't spending no money on the linebackers. I rather spend money on cornerbacks. So I understand what we're doing. I'm glad we picked up a I don't I don't really like Ricky wide receivers too much. It takes too long for him to learn the terminology. So I like the fact that we picked up Jacoby Myers, didn't know the terminology. And then we got Devontae Adams. Then we have Renfro. Uh, I mean, we're looking really good. And Jimmy G, I'm I'm really happy about what my team is doing. I'm really happy. I don't care about Walla Walla never played. We'll get a rookie tight end to, to fill his role. And we should, and, and we should be, and they got a lot of good running backs. We should be able to draft a nice running back too, as well. And we should be able to to at least get second place in this division next year. You know what I mean? Draft draft some DBs. At least get second place. At least get second place. Quick question: Do you think? Um... I'm all with everyone getting money, but do you think like the free agency kind of messed up like teams as far as like, you know, when you have a core group of, of players, you fall in love with them, right? Like, yeah, it's my squad. It's my dude. And we all know that money comes into play, but then it's like, everything is like every year, every franchise is just turning over hand over fist. There's not that one complete team like there used to be. So do you guys think free agency kind of messes it up or do you think they should raise the cap a little bit to where that they can keep the, that that core uh, team to where the core fan base uh, will, you will can stay keep intact? What I, what I figured out is you can keep whatever player the fuck you want to keep. You don't be wanting to keep the player, man. These niggas be charging too much, man. I ain't trying to pay all these players all this money either, man. You know what I mean? That's why when you start letting the prisoners run the prison, that's when you start overspending and winning nothing. You know, you have to you have to learn how to spend your money. You have to learn how to say, I'm not paying you. You know, you gotta believe in your draft, and that's where your GM skills come in at. If I can right. draft if I draft good every year, if I draft the safety just to get to you, well, I'm gonna pay you fifty million for where I got a younger person just to get to you. So it's all about how good you draft. You know, the only player that you can pay for a long time is a quarterback, and that's if he's great. Most of them ain't great. True. There's only been what three teams I think that have paid paid for championships, and one was the '94 Niners when they had Ken Norton, Dion, and all the Hall of Famers on that one team. The other team is Tampa Bay when they got Tom Brady and they had everyone else what, a couple years ago. And there was another team after that. I can't remember right now, but I think those are, those are the only two or three teams that I knew spent money just to win a championship for that year. Mm. What's a UT? Well, right. It depends, man. What's the question again? Uh, well, we're talking about free agency and moves that are being just made. as a whole. Okay, as a whole, I had a side topic, but you know, we'll get back on point. All right. Well, I just seen you know I just seen that uh, George Kittle is leaving the Niners. I don't know where he's going yet, but they said he's leaving. So I'm guessing that means what they're releasing him to save some cap space. And what that does mean is that nigga can sign anywhere though. You know, well, and that means they're gonna keep Bosa because that was that was one of the big times. Yeah, that was the thing. Yeah, yeah. you. Well, oh man, because you have a In way the money. The money thing is cool, but now I think it's just out of hand, man. With how much these dudes is asking for, man. Yeah. I think it should be a cap. <laughs> it's out of hand. I I think it should be a cap, nigga. The forty the quarterback should make uh, well, 
45 million a year is way too much, man. They should be capped at like 25. A running back should get 10. A receiver should get 10. Linemen should get 15 or something like that, you know, and then that should be the cap, man. These, these it, niggas getting these. 15 total or like 15 per year? Per year. Okay. You know, when you get to a certain, when you get to a certain, like say if you make a plateau. couple of Pro Bowls or something like that, yeah, you get to that plateau. Okay, now you boost up, you make fifteen million a year. That's cash. That That's sense. it. That makes sense. That's so, it. Ha- so have all contracts performance based. Yeah, performance based and be the same. And like you know, a quarterback gets paid a set amount of twenty five million a year. And say if that quarterback throws four G's, twenty five touchdowns, he gets an extra. 250k or something like that right if he wins a super bowl just keep it how it is let the motherfuckers get their one hundred and fifty thousand dollars or whatever the fuck but this shit or it keeps going up like dak prescott now how many uh uh gms are sitting there slapping themselves nigga for the you know paying these quarterbacks uh all this damn money and shit like that no but anyways i just wanted to say that because y'all said something about the money yeah definitely i, I think patrick Mahomes kind of fucked up the whole game though and it, nah, but, no no wait, look, wait. Look, that's what i'm saying okay it's, all right it, it's not his fault kc wanted to pay him that money i'm not saying that he asked for that kc paid him that money so it nah, never made deshaun, sense. And, deshaun watson yeah, yeah you're missing yeah deshaun watson fucked up yeah, patrick, because, mahomes, because patrick mahomes um his contract not, is reconstructional you know, and, and his friend is team friendly you know deshaun watson they just now make it team friendly, but you know, two hundred. They still owe him two hundred fifty million guaranteed. But see, that's uh, the thing about Patrick's uh, Patrick's uh, deal. It's not. It wasn't fully guaranteed. He his deal was more incentive based. What was guaranteed? Because, huh? What was guaranteed? I don't know. Uh, it wasn't. It was nothing compared to what Deshaun Watson was. I think it was like maybe sixty, seventy guaranteed. Yeah. And then he had, and then the rest is incentive based, so it's a it, it is a team friendly contract because they don't have to pay him all that guaranteed money like oh, Cleveland oh, Browns oh. got to give. No, Cleveland Browns is two hundred fifty million guaranteed. No, he was one KC. Gold two fifty million, whether whether he played or not, yeah. it's all guaranteed to him. That's yeah, what messed that, everything up. You give somebody two hundred fifty million guaranteed. That hasn't even made a Super Bowl. I, I understand. I understand the Browns are desperate. I understand that's a desperate move and, and may pay off this year when Deshaun Watson gets a full season in. Who knows? He might return back to the great quarterback he is. Because no one's <laughs> talking about him, but he's a great quarterback. He is great. They're going to end up losing all their players, though, because Ooh, of Amari that. Cooper. Because Amari you're paying Cooper. Them so much money. Amari Cooper, I'm gonna tell you right now, is he's gonna be worth some money after this year, if especially if Deshaun Watson balls out, because he only has one year left on his contract after this one. And if he goes over a thousand yards, I'm telling you right now, Amari Cooper's gonna ask for some dope. Guess who they got in the backfield? They got Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb needs to get paid as well. <laughs> that dude, yeah. you can he's laugh, a, nigga. He's a workhorse. Nigga, that nigga's or that nigga's a workhorse. He comes yeah. in the gym every. We talked about this shit. We that nigga. You never hear any scandals from Nick Chubb. You never hear shit right. about yeah, him he, in the yeah, offseason. Yeah, he's very under the radar. You're right. In the in the season, all you do is just see him come in, nigga. He balls yeah, out. Yeah, running nigga. backs don't then, get paid, bro. Man, I just told don't. you there's like 20 good running yeah. backs coming in right now that's just as good as everybody you name, like in a younger and with, with much more trade on them. You see, know, that's another thing too about the NFL that's, is, is that's like the, the thing though is, but like you, yeah, they got more trade, but. Yeah, I'm. Like, I'm ready know, to get. The, you think I'm going to keep the numbers, Josh friend? Jackson? You think I want to keep Josh Jackson for another year? No, too much tread. Give me a young rookie quarter running back that's an elite. Throw him in. Give him a gang of carries for the next three years till he get tired. And throw him out. Draft another rookie running back. That's how you get down. And it's kind of funny. You never pay running back. You better learn from the Cowboys. Cowboys fell in love with Zeke, and look what happened. Well, the Cowboys lost. lost well, the Cowboys lost all. Well, he's a great teammate, because, but they lost all yeah. their own linemen from when he was a rookie. That's when he was rushing for like two, almost two thousand yards because they had a dope O line, and they paid them well, all. Yeah. 
or they didn't, so they all no, left. they so didn't. Online. Yeah, they they paid Dak and uh, Zeke. That's what that the cold the majority of the Dallas contract. I think they eat up exactly. like thirty. It was like thirty something percent of uh, Dallas's cap. You know, yeah. and, you know, salary. Yeah. So that's ridiculous. Okay, if anything, blew their whole team on Zeke. If you're a GM, the best thing for you to do is, and it, uh, it might suck for every other position, is to pay the O line. The yes, O line. Pay the O-line. Pay the, oh. That's what. That's the. Yeah. That's the foundation right there. You especially know what I'm you especially get them if you money. have a special quarterback. That that one quarterback that you know, like this is my franchise quarterback. Okay, everyone else we can draft. We can get free agency. We're paying the O line. Yeah. So, I mean. My team, I'm I'm not gonna comment too much on my team because my GM knows what he's doing. Y'all, y'all be in limbo with y'all shit. You know, Brett Beach knows what he's doing. So y'all, y'all can't even comment on my squad. So just leave my team out y'all mouths. I mean, go ahead and bicker about y'all squads and how y'all need to get this or do this to get right and shit like that. Because well, my squad got, is uh, you guys lost Orlando Brown to to the Bengals. That's all right. They picked up a scrub ass lineman. And they, they said it will block. It's all good. Look, the you know when it, when the team's cocky like the Chiefs, I love it. Be cocky all you want to, y'all want. No, 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 no. Super we ain't cocky. cocky. Feel free, y'all. To, y'all the feel Raiders y'all run any. This is how they feel now. They can no, just the anybody, put anybody <laughs> a team jersey on anybody out there, wide receiver, and he's gonna be a superstar because Patrick Mahomes and he'll make anybody a star. Let them keep no. leaving. Them. And what's that's, not how, we, that's not how real Chiefs fans think. That's how y'all think about us. We don't think that. If you go like if you go on our page and shit like that, we asking, we ain't asking for uh, you know what I'm saying, like another uh what's it called? Tyree Hill and shit like that. Man, we I mean we want another Tyree Hill, but uh, you know what I'm saying? We 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 want DeAndre Hopkins. We want some. We want some proven. We we need somebody. We can't just throw. You can't just throw anybody in our system and have them flourish. We don't think that. Talking about y'all getting DeAndre Hopkins and shit. That's y'all saying that, man. That's nah, y'all looking at. That's envy. That's envy. Nah, they were saying that in the news that y'all getting DeAndre Hopkins. Oh, nice. Yeah, nigga. I would now. Uh, I can now. I now I can gloat if that does happen, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because that's real. <laughs> you know, like, I'm, hey, you I might as well just Chiefs. give it. You might as well just put another one on. I don't hate the Chiefs. Um, you know, one thing that I did hate about my my organization was that they went to the Chiefs to get certain head coaches. God damn it, that Hold didn't work quick. out. Hmm? Oh, Matt Nagy. Yeah, Matt Nagy didn't work out. But Ryan Poles, I am happy that we got him from the Chiefs because. He's making some really good moves for the Bears right now. And it's not done yet. <laughs> I already told you he made it, it to me he made the dumbest move of all the moves already. So I'm not serious. I'm not gonna sit here and call somebody a genius that made the what? dumbest move. You know what I mean? What's the dumbest Ooh. move? Keeping Justin Fields is the dumbest move y'all made. How dumb can a team be? You, you keep a quarterback that can't hit a target. Oh, he can run fast. Oh, he's amazing. No, can he hit a target, man? I don't it's, care how many wide receivers you get. Can, can he we hit can, a target? We can. We gonna. We gonna have to wait and see after see this year, year cause, cause yeah, we're gonna see this. Year. He this has no. If, if, he has no if excuse. He, if he, he has no if excuse, he's garbage this year, right, Allen? Okay. Is either GM the dumbest GM there ever lived after that to you? You no, admit that? He didn't draft Fields. Who was that? Who was the Fields? What I'm, saying, boy? what I'm saying is this. No, you had Fields was Ryan one Pace. Pick. You could have, you could have, uh-huh. what I'm saying is this. You had never one pick. You could have traded Justin Fields. You could have, you could have, you could have drafted. Bryce okay. Young and traded Justin Fields still for a number one pick, number one overall pick, maybe to somebody that wanted Justin Fields. And y'all could have had Bryce Young, a more accurate quarterback, somebody that can take you to the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, 
Why would you not, not want an accurate quarterback like Justin Fields and C.J. Stroud? Why would you not want an accurate quarterback? You know what I mean? Why would you want to keep an inaccurate quarterback because he ran a popular 60-yard run like Terrell Pryor? Come on, Maybe man. Maybe they see something. They see something that we don't see. What? What do they see, man? Did they see the accuracy? Did they see the ratings? They're he's looking. Said. He's in. He probably, you know, when they start training camp. What? Oh, it wait after, after the draft. So, I don't know what they seen. I seen. <laughs> I seen. I seen a good running quarterback. I seen. Uh, what's it? I. I seen Michael Vick two point but without the arm strength. That's what I see. I mean, he was already complaining, which is true, Alan. You have to say he used to, he made an interview complaining about how it's hard for him to throw in Chicago so it's so cold and it's hard for him to make a throw. <laughs> Why do you want to well, go back to complaining about throwing the place he's, he's playing in, man? Now, now that I'm off my phone call, I apologize for that. You know, I apologize. I apologize for that, you guys. My bad. But yeah, um, yeah. what quarterback wants to play in cold weather? Nobody. Right. So uh, you know, I understand what you're saying. He doesn't like playing <laughs> in Chicago. So the reason why that's a le- that's a legitimate that's a legitimate gripe. But we but can't. We got to look. Hold on. We're, but you got to look back to Jay Cutler though. Before you say that, Jay Cutler played out there and he balled there. I mean, okay. they didn't win a lot, but he. He had good seasons in Chicago. But the reason why he's saying that is because they're trying to build this new stadium in Arlington Field, which is supposed to be a uh-huh. dome, a, you know, a dome type atmosphere. So if that's your future quarterback, if that's your franchise quarterback, you want to, you know, please him and get him a new stadium. Nigga, I don't know if I'd do that right at, after three years. Nigga, I, I let him go out of his rookie contract and let him, you know, prove himself. Like, like I said, after this year, it's not happening tomorrow. He ain't, he ain't got no excuses after this year, man. They're putting the pieces that, I mean, he needs to su- succeed, nigga. So, like, if he don't succeed, then it's on him. And they made a huge mistake by not drafting one of these quarterbacks. Well, That's all can, we can say. You can say that, but guess what? So, let's say Carolina drafts um, Bryce Young, right? No, nah, they're not getting – they already said they're getting C.J. Stroud. Okay, let's say if they get C.J. Stroud, right, and they end mm-hmm. up in, let's say, in a last place, the pick that we gave them this year, that turns into our number one pick, which means if Fields doesn't work out, we can go get Caleb Williams from USC. Wait, nah, nigga, Caleb Williams, wait, the Caleb Williams, go, he's coming back? Yeah, he said to USC. What? Mm-hmm. Nigga, what is you doing, young man? Why would you go out now when you can come out next year and be number one pick? All right. And get paid, yeah, more. True. Because but, he's gonna, he, he'll probably be the only quarterback in that whole draft class that's worth drafting. Said, some dude named May, who is what they keep talking about. Oh, well, I'm going to just keep going 100, man, for that. Boy, I remember who did that. Some dude did that a while ago and got hurt. Damn it. Uh, anyways, I don't if he care about hurt. I, I really don't care about rookie quarterbacks. They don't excite me. But what I'm saying is this, man. We're talking about your quarterback. Not rookie quarterback. I'm talking about your quarterback. My quarterback. What, is your, what is your quarterback going to do this year that a rookie quarterback couldn't have did this year. Y'all could have saved money. I, well, he's still on a rookie contract, so we're still saving money. My only thing is, is that you guys kind of forget that Jalen Hurts at this same position last year, they were begging him, "Hey, get rid of him, get rid of him." Guess what? He blossomed took him, and and then took him to the Super Bowl. So who, who's to say that won't happen this year with Justin Fields, or at least take him to the playoffs? Hmm. My you thing, see, what I'm saying, I'll, I'll what, see, I feel like y'all can win a good six to seven games this year. Better. Than what I'm saying is, seven. I games. said what I said. He has no excuse. So right, don't say, say y'all say I, say Byron. No, super, no superstars <laughs> on. No superstars on defense. 
Uh, who y'all gonna draft in the first Wait, round? Y'all need some. Y'all need a player. Y'all need the M. I would say y'all draft Joey Porter Jr. Y'all need y'all need somebody. Y'all need somebody on defense that somebody want to watch. Nobody wants to watch nobody on your team on defense. There's nobody to watch. We just we just signed Tremaine Edwards from Buffalo. What are you talking about? Yeah, ain't nobody to watch. Ain't nobody turn on TV. Say, I'm gonna go watch Tremaine Edwards play. Who is it to watch on your TV? Jackson, we got Brisker in his second year, and Brisker had a great rookie year. He's probably one of the the upsides to our defense. <laughs> Y'all's out there. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. So who I won know, this I, free I, agency then? Man. Who won the free agency? Uh, it's uh, not done yet, but from thus far, I would say so far. I say my team won. Okay. I would say I, I would say the Jets if if uh if he ends up going to the Jets because they, got I dope, say they have dope receivers that. they have a dope running back with Drake they have a defense so I think they'll be pretty good with Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. I mean, Aaron Rodgers and Aaron Rodgers gonna be really good over there. That's a that's a really good pickup for the Jets, man. Really good. You know, but the Jets are smart. One thing they did to decide to finally do is get rid of Zach Wilson. No, is draft a shutdown corner in Sauce Gardner. Oh, so yeah, this yeah. this is what I'm saying. I like to follow things. I like to follow things that work. So that's why my team needs to get Devin Witherspoon, shutdown corner from Illinois. And then we can talk about championships and all that stuff. But till then, if we don't get a shutdown corner. You can't win in this league, man. We ain't gonna shut down corner. That's my point about the Bears. Bears ain't gonna shut down corner. He already talking about Brisker. Ain't nobody talking about Brisker. We don't. Brisker we don't in the, you know, ESPN. We don't run. A I man ain't even heard defense. Brisker's name until you mentioned him. Ain't nobody talking about Brisker on the NFL run. Network. So that means you don't watch real NFL. We don't run a. We don't run a man defense. We run zone. Titan, you heard Brisker? Yeah, I heard of him. You heard? I mean, you heard him in the news. You watch some articles about. I mean, here we go, the tag nah. team champions of the world, right here. Here we go. <laughs> <'cause>, <laughs> nah, I ain't heard him like that. You, I'm just answering truth. Here we go, cuz I know who he is, but I, I he doesn't make a lot of uh, headlines. No, yeah, he doesn't make a lot of headlines. The Bears. When's the last time the Bears had a corner that everyone woke up and like, damn, I want to see that nigga play. I, Peanut who? Tillman, boy. Peanut Tillman. Nigga, he's How the reason. Peanut? Like in 2003, he's, 2004? But he's the only reason why corners play the way they do now, punching the ball out. He changed the game. But when's last time you seen Peanut Tillman? I, I forgot who he uh, was. About eight, nine years ago. Yeah. No, that was like 13, 14 years ago. How about Mike Brown? He was a dope safety. Mm, memorable. Right, uh, I'm but sure. Peanut Tillman, yeah, he was. Yeah, you right, but that's what I'm saying. Why oh, uh, my bad. I, I totally forgot because, like, he was hurt for the past three seasons or two seasons when we had him. Khalil Mack. There you go. I said cornerback, man. You said defensive player that people want to watch. No, you said corner, defensive corner. back, defensive back, corner, cornerback. It was Peanut Tillman. That was who. It was. That's it. That's it, man. Y'all, y'all ain't have who, good who'd you got? Back. Who the Raiders have? Uh, what was the word? We ain't had a good DB since Nam Diaz. Uh, yeah, Oswa, and then he went and, got, and played man and got burnt up. Yeah, that's all. I, now, Casey Hayward was pretty good for us, though. He did all right, but he yeah, Nam was, was a good zone corner. Yeah, well, we, last time we had an elite corner was Nam That's that's a long time ago. That's why we're trash. We haven't had no elite corner. We have a chance to get one. But he was and a shutdown Devin corner. Devin Weatherspoon or Joey Porter Jr. So we had to take the opportunity. Or Christian Gonzalez. We had to take the opportunity to explore one of the three of those cornerbacks in the first round. But he wasn't a shutdown corner. Who? Awesome law. He played yeah, he zone. Was. He, Man, he played, he he played was his on own Raiders, defense. He shut down even with the Eagles. He became he, trash. But on he, the Raiders, he, played, he was shut down. He played zone defense. That's not a shutdown cornerback. A shutdown cornerback plays man on man nah, every nah. play. 
Nah. Nah, he uh, played man and man on, on Oakland ninety percent of the time. He went to he played zone and start getting cut. A zone a zone the shutdown D B can shut down shut down his whole zone. A man and a shutdown D B, if he plays man, he takes the best man on the field. All game. Mm-hmm. Wherever that man goes. That's where that DB, uh, that's where that DB is going, and then he puts and he puts the clamps on him too. Not just follows him just because he's the best corner on the team, but he's the impact. Like Daryl Revis, we had the, you know, like the most recent one. I don't know what Sauce is going to turn into, but Daryl Revis right now is the one we can all say that the shutdown corner. He followed the best receiver wherever he went on the field, every single play. He looks promising. But Sauce, yeah, Sauce. Yeah, he looks promising. He does. Nah, Sauce already is the best DB in in in, in NFL already. Period. Sauce he's the best. Good. He, he's good. He's good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's more than good. He's extremely. He's extremely good. Like it was. It you want to understand how good he is? Like because he played on the Jets and the Jets just crumbled. The Jets, the Jets couldn't score. It was locking teams up, but they couldn't score. And a quarterback would watch. Watch the Jets oh, next shit. year. Watch, watch him next year when he get to locking people up and Aaron get to running it up. And but it has to be cons- I'm like, oh dang, Jets are running it up. And I'm saying it was promising because it was his rookie season, so he has to continue to lock people up. Don't don't mm-hmm. fall off. Don't think you're 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 that great and just end up getting toasted for next season. Because then guess what? You'll be playing nickel. Mm, I don't um, know, man. If you're locking number one receivers as a rookie, it's hard to go backwards, you know. <laughs> but if he's, what I'm saying is, if he's not locking up next season, then what? But how, but how, how does someone fall off in one season if you were locking somebody your rookie season? How you fall off and not lock them? You know how like uh, rappers when their debut album comes out and it's the hardest album ever, right? And then they start feeling themselves, so their sophomore effort comes out and the album's trash. The exact same mm. thing. Okay, name mm-hmm. some DBs that did that. Oh, hmm. Who's the? Uh, I know it's. I know it's been decades ago, mm-hmm. but who's the dude that the uh, that the uh, Raiders signed from the Cowboys? Because he had two interceptions. He wasn't a rookie. He wasn't a rookie. He was Larry Brown. Everybody. Yeah, Larry Brown. But still, 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 he, still, he, he wasn't feeling. locking everybody. That's a horrible example, Alex. What do you mean? He started feeling he wasn't himself. Locking. He was no never no top corner in the NFL. So why'd you guys sign him to that? He had his contract then. Because he had <laughs> one good game in the playoffs and he gypped us. <laughs> so apparently, like like I'm saying, he started feeling himself. He started feeling himself. He got some balls going, man. It's right, so you guys got fooled. Yeah, he got had one good game. He had three Suckers. interceptions in the Super Bowl, man. So we saw so some fools go, man. Hey. Come on, man. Hey, that's what it is, though. Hey. Hey. That's a terrible example, Alan. <laughs> that's a great example. <laughs> oh, my God. He was, feeling, he, he was feeling himself thinking that he was dope. He got paid all that money. He was trash. And you guys had to find out the hard way. Yes, Titan. I got to say something man, about your squad, though. He is getting he is getting the pieces all together right now. Like you said, if this nigga does not, uh, you know, produce this next season, Kev, it's like you guys got to get rid of him because they're doing all this shit for this man. Man, like I'm looking at the uh, you know all the signings and stuff right there. They got him, Robert Tanya. Uh, what's it called? Uh, what's his name's old tight end? Uh, Aaron Rodgers, old tight end. They got mm-hmm. Dante. They got Dante Foreman, the mm-hmm. running back from uh, Carolina, too. Which mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. Huh? If he doesn't produce, then yeah, Ooh. yeah, you're ready. Yeah, Bears got squad, man. Oh man, y'all. Yeah, I'm y'all. not. I'm not disagreeing. My thing. No, is, I'm not saying that. I'm give him a saying. chance. Like let him. Yeah. Give him I'm, a chance to prove himself with decent players around him. If he can't produce yeah. then, then get rid of him. That's all I'm saying. Naturally. Yeah. But, so what, what, I'm is saying Bears, what, what is the Bears philosophy? It's really so so y'all, y'all are an offensive it, team. Bears never been an offensive team in life. Now y'all just an all offensive team, but defense, we're all offense. This is what you're going to. This is what this is how this we are going to now as an organization. 
to keep up with the NFL, you have to have a potent offense. That's the way it works now. Back in the oh, days, yeah. you could have a dope defense and still win games. Now you can't do that. You have to have at least an offense who could put up at least 25 to 30 points per game in order to win in today's league. Okay, so y'all putting up 30 points a game next year. I want to say before he got hurt, six games in a row, we put up like 25 points. So our, def- put- our, our defense let him – our defense let us down. Your defense is going to let y'all down again next year. Who'd y'all pick up on defense? Oh, uh, wait, wait. <laughs> they ain't pick, I don't <laughs> think they've got no. But, the defense is going to let you down God. again next year, man. Are you, even, are you even watching, like, the sports ticker who we picked up? We got... I don't hear nobody. Look. This is what I was, this is what we this is what I was just telling Titan. You talking about we bullying up on you and stuff, and y'all keep bullying up on me. No, we're not. We're no, just telling you, you're a hard you are the hard headed kid that like you the hard headed kid in school that you know that sit you sit you on the side of the corner for a while to you know calm you down you know before everybody else gets a cookie before you get a cookie because you know you that mad as hell they had to talk to you before they gave you the cookie. No, I was, I, was, no. I, was, I was always first. I was always first in line. <laughs> so all I'm saying is, man, and you should agree with me. You guys do not have a cornerback that nobody wants to watch TV for. Okay. You don't have a okay. cornerback. You don't have, you you don't don't have nobody. No, you don't have with... nobody. You have no defensive back that nobody wants to watch. I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. But I mean, who's watching a Jets game just for Sauce Walker? Hell of people. Me, I watch a game for Sauce Walker. Sauce Walker is hard. Because you turn the game after the Raiders start losing, you just turn the game to the Jets game. Sauce Walker. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be watching a lot of Jets games because Aaron Rodgers is gonna be on there. It's gonna be exciting to watch them play. This is still be. Yeah, it's gonna I mean, be. It'll be the same. You should thing. be. Ex- you should be excited to watch the Saints play, bro. <laughs> 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 Derek Carr. Uh, hey, Derek Carr got I'm, Derek Carr so I'm, so, I'm so happy he's off my team, man. You don't even know. Derek man. Carr got his he got his bag though. <laughs> Derek Carr got paid for doing nothing for nine but, years. I mean, but he, he deserves he got that, it. man. He deserves that. He, I mean, for for sticking around that trash ass organization all them years, he deserves that bag. You know what I'm saying? It's like compensation. He got his bag, man. Man, he definitely got, got money and, and, and got on and got another bag. Most overrated quarterback in Interfield hasn't did shit. And he won't do nothing for New Orleans, so I'm not worried about it. I wouldn't call him overrated. Alvin huh? Kamara's happy. He's good. We don't see how happy they are, yeah, 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 yeah. are when he gets some pressure and he gets to throwing, throwing up ducks and in, interceptions because he gets pressure. You know, he can't handle it. Or he gets to throw a check down, or he gets check down happy and throws check downs the whole game. He's scared to make a throw. Well, like Titan said, Kamara's going to be happy. He's about to break break for 20 yards, 30 yards each catch. So, as long as as Derek Carr gets his three Gs and 25 touchdowns, I think it's good. Yeah. Plus, I mean, plus, I think the the NFC South is going to be garbage. So garbage. They might win that division. Trash. Maybe right in the playoffs. <laughs> you think it's going to be garbage? The NFC South. I don't think. They, yep. Yeah. I think it's going to be the. Good. I think it's going to be the worst uh, division in the league next year. Next mm-hmm. season. Yeah. Telling you, man, Carolina Panthers. They draft Bryce Young. He turned out to be like Patrick Mahomes. Then what? Then I'm wrong. No one even I'll knew. Admit it. Okay, no one even thought Patrick Mahomes would be Patrick Mahomes. He wasn't highly like he went to Texas. There Tech. was a very few. There was a very few that did. Yes, there was yeah, very few. There were very few. But what I'm saying is, when he came out of Texas Tech, no one really knew. You know, he ran that that air raid offense. So that used to be a. Um, a hindrance for people to draft those quarterbacks because the, the, all they have was that spread offense. Now the NFL is more spread, so it fits his, it fits that game style now. 
Yeah, that, but you sound like one of them stupid white boys that say dumb shit all day. That's the reason why people didn't draft him to listen to dumbass white boys say some dumb shit like that. Oh, he's an offense that throws too much. Is a nigga making fucking throws? Is a nigga completing throws? Can a nigga throw? That's all that really matters. And he completed all three of those check marks, and they seen him saying, well, he's an offense that throws too much. What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean, man? These scouts are retarded. Because they, the, they, they, because like, the NFL that's wasn't. That's why y'all like, ended up drafting Mitch Trubisky. But the NFL wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Right? and that was a big, and that was a big mistake. But the that's NFL why y'all ended up drafting Mitch Trubisky, man. Listen the NFL, to the NFL wasn't scouts, like man. the NFL wasn't like that until after Mahomes got drafted. That that's all you know. That's all I'm saying. Which is why he dropped so far. He didn't run. A, he he didn't run that that pro style offense, that NFL offense, which helps you get drafted. That's all I'm saying. Patrick Mahomes, big biggest knock on why he didn't get the accolade or all that shit was because he was too much of a risk taker in college. He tried to uh he was making throws that, you know, he was making the throws, but he was unethical throw. Yeah. He was throwing picks and shit. Nobody did know he was gonna be this complete. Nobody, nobody yeah, really nobody knew, knew he was gonna be what he yeah, was somebody, today. Everybody, Andy knew. That's why he picked right. that. Andy knew the organization. Yeah. Andy knew. Hell, he had the eye for talent. The rest of y'all was retarded, including the Raiders. The Raiders. We still believe in Derek Carr. Y'all believe in Mitchell Trubisky that year. Y'all uh, had a chance to get Mahomes. Y'all believe in Mr. Trubisky. I didn't, where, believe, I, I didn't believe him. No, no, I'm well, saying that is that is that the that is true because they took Mr. Trubisky right. as the second quarterback. <laughs> right. Well, that that's because Ryan Pace he doesn't know how to pick actual players. Like we miss out on Watson and Mahomes. So yeah, he fucked that's, up. That's horrific. I, right. I know that. that that's that's what a I'm, horrific I'm, organization. I'm agreeing. <laughs> I'm agreeing at that moment that was horrific. That was a bad pick. So. And then y'all miss out on Bryce Young for Justin Field too, and you still believe, have belief in your organization after y'all keep doing this to you? Yep. All right. Hey, you got to give him a chance, Tyler. No, no, you know what? No, I'm going to let, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna chance, let Byron, I'm gonna let Byron <laughs> just sit there for a minute. Yeah. And, and hold on. Once the season, <laughs> yeah, when the season starts, hold up. When the season starts and we start balling out, be like, oh, all right, Al, because you know what? We're gonna be on this exact same show. Be like, all right, I want to issue an apology to Al, man, because you know I know I was talking about. I thought he was full of bullshit, this and that, and the third. So, you know, it takes time, man. All good. You know what else takes time? So, what was your team grade for the? Uh, well, I guess we can't really give one. <laughs> I can give one so, short. I mean, for like what the first? So, so far, two weeks, two days. It's been two days, really. <laughs> okay, I'll give mine. <laughs> B plus. I'll say I'll say B plus A minus because we got uh draft yeah. picks out of it. We yo, what do you feel about your free agents that y'all picked up? Oh, our defense is gonna be sick. Who y'all picked up on defense? We got Edwards from Philly, linebacker. We got Edmonds from Buffalo, who's a, who's okay. another linebacker. I told you linebacker is the most useless position in the NFL. Who did y'all get? How's that useless? They're well, useless. Linebackers are useless, man. They're a waste of money, bro. The tight end, the tight end is the most important what, position what in the NFL. What do linebackers do for you to win games? Uh, they pass cover the best tight ends, and they also no, they stop, stop the run. They stop the run. Uh, okay, you can find anybody that can run between a hole and plug it. Any linebacker is capable of doing that. Hey, you Byron, I can be hey, a you super linebacker to do that. On the real, I can see why you didn't play football, man, because you'd be the nigga with his whole outfit on with no gloves on, no wristbands, just bare arm. Like, all right, because let me, let me hit somebody, coach. Well, who well, is out there? there. But what, I play with I play with Ty. We play NPC with Ty. Yeah, that's how, that's how he was out there, too. Bare, <laughs> bare arms. Huh? Was, <laughs> men in arms. Are you ready? <laughs> uh 
We was out but, there hitting hard, getting hit hard, man. We played, we played this one team. They had like seven Michael Vicks on their team. Cause like, <laughs> damn it, tell me. <laughs> they just kept having niggas running the same option. Like, who's this quarterback? This nigga, this a nigga after a nigga keep running the same option. <laughs> you know, I got all them games on film. That's hilarious. Uh, right. right. Yeah, I got, I got all our games on, uh, <laughs> on film in, uh, in my shit. <laughs> That was, man, funnest, that was the funniest football season I ever had in my life, man. For real. Thank you guys for right, Let's talk us about the hours. We're your hosts, TJ Bay, Tyler Byron, Alan Poe. If you like it, you like it. If you love it, you love it. I love y'all. Peace. John Morant, nigga.